Alrighty, I have a construction update for you guys today. There's going to be a little bit of a delay with um, knocking one of the coasters out of the lineup. My work has been so insane lately. Um, I've been pulling 11-hour days, so um, the Patreons didn't end up getting it last night because I was so busy yesterday with Valentine's Day sales. Um, so it's just going to be a day late. I'm going to do Patreon today, the day of this video, and then you guys the next day. Um, but over at Front Gate, Brickwork is moving along really quickly. Um, some pre-work is going on and on Leviathan. Obviously, we all know that there's going to have to be some sort of netting um, installed on Leviathan as guests will be walking underneath here. Um, but yeah, not too much else going there. Again, a lot of new tech has been installed on the north side of the front gate building. So work still continues on that side of the building. Um, nothing new at Extreme Skyflyer. Um, still a lot of work going on on the exit slash gift shop. Um, everything else. What else is going on in the park? Oh, yeah. Um, some weird electrical work going on on Swings of the Century in um, World Expo. It looked like they were removing some electrical, but I can't confirm that. Obviously, flying so far away, it is really difficult to make out what they are doing on some of these things. But, yeah, they had two guys in there. What looked like removing um, the speaker systems is what I think I saw. So it looked like they were removing some of the, the speakers. You know, if you're walking around the park and it's playing music. Um, again, I've been waiting for signs about where the station is going to be located. Is it going to be located in the mountain area? Or is it going to be located here in World Expo? Um, and this ugly building, I know that might be an unpopular opinion for some, but this is the ugliest building, in my opinion, at Canada's Wonderland. I hate it. And the only person that liked it was Norm. And now that he's gone, I hope they get rid of it. <laughs> so I'm kind of hoping that that ends up being the station. So we'll have to see. Um, but yeah, I mean, the station could be in like three locations. It's either going to be International Showplace, this ugly arcade building, or Extreme Skyflyer's plot of land. So we'll have to see. But yeah, not too much going on outside of that. It just was a lot of electrical work. And then they ended up doing some electrical work to the actual Swings of the Century ride, which confused me a bit because I thought I had it figured it out with the speaker system. But I guess this is just an area of the park that I'll have to keep a really close eye on um, and see if that progresses in any sort of way into signs of um, maybe they're disconnecting some things in this area because it's going to be ripped up and there's going to be some changes in there. I mean, it could be as small as just some enhancements to World Expo, period. Um, nothing going on in this specific plot of land for the 2025 coaster, but the drive piles um, are on site. So right there at the tunnel, they're there. Uh, the machine to hammer them in is not there yet. Um, so they have not begun hammering those in. Um, again, based off of what I'm seeing even there, it is very difficult um, to fit certain rides in that tunnel. Um, but nothing is confirmed yet, obviously, until the actual tunnel gets driven into the ground. And then we could safely make a prediction based off of that. Although I do, I can already rule out one model. I think you guys all kind of know. But um, yeah, over at Moosehorn Falls, construction continues. Not much else going on. They're just leveling out the land, obviously, to start the actual construction project over there. Um, so we'll have to uh, see if any water slide parts start showing up. It's a little early. Again, water slide can start in April, May. Um, but yeah, anyways, that's all. Hopefully you guys enjoyed today's construction update. I sound exhausted. I work 10 and a half hours. But yeah, have a good one, guys. Bye.